Hello, air sign. Ooh, what's going on? Okay, so we're doing our dailies. We're doing your April 30th, 2018. End of the month. Ooh, okay. So let's see what's going on for you guys for today, your morning, afternoon, and your evening. Overall energy or lesson for today. Remember, guys, if this does not resonate with you, please check your moon and rising sign. Um, because not going to resonate with everyone a lot of us go off our ego so that would be your sun sign so if you are ego driven um you know your sun sign is going to resonate more than anything else if you're if you're more spiritual you want to check your music okay so let's see what's going on with my air signs today gemini libra and aquarius all right so this morning you have the two of cups in reverse hmm i don't like that I don't like that at all. This afternoon, you have the judgment. Okay. This evening, you have the three of pentacles. Your overall energy for today is the knight of swords. Fire signs got the same overall energy, air signs. Hmm. I wonder if you're dealing with a fire sign. Okay, so rapid communication. Lots and lots of communication. Somebody wanting to rush in and talk to you, air sign. Okay, so this morning you have the two of cups in reverse. There's a little bit of disharmony. There's a little bit of disharmony this morning with you and a partner. This could be a business partner, a romantic partner. This could be a brother or sister. But this is the twin flame card, and I feel like there is a little bit of disharmony going on here. There might have, there might even be a breakup. There's this um. There's just a little bit disharmony and balance in the relationship right now this morning. Okay, so let's see why. Um, let's see why there's disharmony. This morning, why are you and your significant other? It might be an argument that you have with your significant other. Let's see. Just something, something this morning is causing a little bit disharmony, disruption in your relationship with someone. And this, I'm feeling like this is through communication because you do have... Um, you do have the Nine of Swords. So this morning you have the Two of Cups and the, wow, the Six of Wands, both in reverse. So this morning I'm feeling like, I feel like maybe someone might break up with you because they feel, they don't see this relationship as a victory. This could be a partnership as well. This could be your energy as well. You're breaking up with someone because you feel like you're not going to be victorious here. This is this is not a situation that's going to cause a win. This is not going to be victorious. You're wasting your time. Um, or you may just be feeling that way. You may just be feeling like, oh, this is, this is not going the way I planned. Um, and this could just be merely in communication. Maybe somebody texts you and the conversation just goes completely left and you guys are arguing, okay, and being mean and harsh to each other. And you're just like, man, oh my God, this is this is not what I thought it would be when I when I spoke to this person, right? So this morning there's some of that going on. So this afternoon you have the judgment card. So let's see. Let's see what's going on this afternoon. Why is the judgment here? Okay, so yeah, I feel like, okay, air sign, this afternoon you have the judgment card with the eight of wands. So I feel like this afternoon you're going to have to make a judgment call and it's going to have to be like on the spot. Okay, something, um, something is transpi transpiring very quickly. This might, this is, this may be unexpected to you. Um, this could also be a uh, communication as well. A lot of communication, a lot of text messages, but it's moving very quickly. Um, and I feel like you, there's going to have to be a judgment call on your part. Okay. I've, and this also could be someone that, that this is like, these, these people are like coming back from the dead, right? They're like coming out of their grave. So this could be an old flame. 
Okay, soulmate connection I'm seeing here because we do have the twin flame card here. This could be a twin flame soulmate, um, someone who you have not spoken to in a while and some time, and they're just like they're just like coming like coming back from the dead, basically. They're coming out of nowhere with this communication. You're like, oh hi, you know, there you are, or whatever. <laughs> Right, so this is gonna be unexpected. Um, I feel like this is gonna be communication this afternoon. Um, someone's coming back. Um, you know, someone. I feel like too. Someone realized, like they were silly. They were being silly. Someone self-corrected, right? And they're coming back now, and they want to communicate. Want to talk to you, okay? Or this could this could be you, air sign. Maybe you have. You have been um, meditating and praying and you went within, you did some search, search, soul searching and you found out that you were being ridiculous, that you weren't behaving well and you're deciding to reach out and communicate with this person that you have not communicated with for some time, okay? So this, this evening you have the three of pentacles and I feel like this morning, um, air sign, you're, you might be feeling like, dang, this person doesn't love me anymore. You know, why aren't they calling me? Why aren't they contacting me? What's going on? You may feel like this person doesn't see you as a, they no longer see you as a victory. This is, this is what you could be feeling this morning. Like, man, this person is never going to call me again. And then out of the blue this afternoon, they, they messaged you. They send you a whole bunch of messages, right? So that's different scenarios here, guys. So um, this evening you have the three of pentacles and let's see why that is there. I always feel like I'm talking for like such a long time. When I look at the clock, it's like five minutes. It's so crazy. Okay, so three of pentacles. Oh my gosh. Okay, so air sign, I'm gonna just assume that you're dealing with a fire sign because you guys are getting the same cards here. This is crazy today. All right, so this, this evening you have the three of pentacles with the ace of swords. This could be a work situation. Um, this could be also a third party situation. I feel like you're un you're unclear about something. Something either someone's being dishonest with you or you're you don't have mental clarity on a situation. It could be a third party situation or maybe you're feeling like does this does this person want to work this out or not? What's going on? Like are we going to do this? Are we going to work together or like you're kind of you're kind of foggy this this evening like what's going on? You have your mental clarity is not its best. Um you kind of don't know what's going on here. And I feel like you're, you're maybe thinking about, do I want to work this out? Do I want to do this? Do I want to do this? Do I want to work with this person? Okay. Or you could be thinking like, is this person, you know, messing with somebody else? Am I the only one they're talking to? Are they being honest with me? You might be just going over that in your head a lot. Okay. Or maybe air sign. Maybe, just maybe, you're being honest about a third-party situation. You're being dishonest um, about a third-party situation. Maybe you are involved with someone else and you are not telling the truth. You are lying, air sign. Okay? You could be lying to this person or you could be lying to yourself or you could be lying to someone else. You could be lying to the third party about this soulmate connection. So maybe you are, maybe you're with someone right now. And you're not really feeling them like that. You know what I mean? Like you're like, mm, yeah, you cool, but you know, like kind of friend zone, right? And you're really in love with someone else. And you're not being honest about it. That could be the case as well. Okay. So overall, today is a day of communication. You know, air sign, you guys are always in your head. But communication today, messages from someone you haven't spoken to in a while. Isn't that exciting? Might be a little rocky this morning, but I feel like by this afternoon, you're going to be good. You're gonna be feeling good, okay? Because you're going to be getting messages. I think that's going to make you happy. It might piss you off, but nonetheless, you're going to be getting messages. So let's see what guidance you have for today, my air signs. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. What guidance do you have for them today? Let's see. I like for the cards to pop out, but when they don't, it's like, okay, I'm gonna have to pick one. Be strong. Okay, so it says you are stronger than you think you are, and your strength assures a happy outcome. Yeah. 
so air sign, I do feel like, you know, this morning you're kind of feeling like maybe this person breaks up with you this morning. You know, someone that you really love, a soulmate connection, a twin flame, right? Because, or maybe you have to break up with them. You have to be honest and say, hey, I don't love you anymore. I don't want to be with you anymore because I feel like this is not going anywhere. Um, I feel like this is not going to be victorious for me and I want to call it quits. This might take a lot of strength and courage for you to do this. And I feel like this is pertaining to this other person that you are involved with right now that's just kind of like a friend. And I feel like you need to let them know that you are in love with someone else and that you have your eye on someone else, right? That's going to be the case. Um, but overall, just be strong. And I feel like you're a lot stronger. You have a lot more courage than you think you do. Um, this can be just this can also be in regard to mess to talking to somebody. It's like just it's okay. Just take a chill pill. Just like know that you have the strength to encounter any situation. And I feel like speaking up is not always the easiest thing to do. Being honest with someone in their face head on is not always easy. It's kind of difficult. It takes a lot of courage. But you have it has to be done. You know, you have to you have to give people closure. You can't leave people on air signs. Wrong. It's wrong, okay? It's not right. You can't play with people's emotions. So if you got something to tell somebody, if you being dishonest today, choose honesty. I'm telling you, because once you lie, you gotta lie to cover up that lie, then lie to, it's just like, oh my god, time for that shit. For real. Okay, so let's see. What your lesson is for today. Okay, I'm just going to pick one. because See the good in everything. Okay, air sign says, today's lesson. This is a day for optimism only. No matter what comes your way, your task is to see only the favorable attributes in it. Your goal to practice the power of positive thinking. Yeah, so I feel like... I feel like be strong in communicating and I also feel like see the good in goodbyes, right? See the good from walking away from something that's not good for you, okay? And be strong in doing so. You, I, I think, you, I think you're going to do it. I think you can do it. I know you can do it because you have incredible strength, air sign, and you have incredible tact and diplomacy. So I feel like if there's something that you need to say, just be tactful. Be diplomatic, be, be sweet and kind about it, but just be honest, okay? So I hope this helps you, Air Sign. Thank you.